Valamos in misbar elu halachos. And maidens without number, that refers to the halachos, the laws. King Kasu Baraim Hemna Pashas Pinchas, Da Freshid Vavsuf Amur Alev. Ubedikuni Zora Tikun Kavches Daf, and Gimel Suf Amur Alev. Vekama Ulemtan Isla, and how many young maidens are there? There are. You know, in halachos psukos, that those are um, said halachos. The tamar behon v'alamos emi spar that it says about them, and young maidens without number. Habitikun kol falef dafne gimel sofamod beis v'alamos emi spar. The you know besulos it says in tikunim in kol falef and young maidens without number that that refers to. Virgins. Achrei are osea. That are after her. Her friends. De shkinta. Reosea de Shrinta, the friends of the Shrina, so to speak. Like the Shrina, allegorically, would be the queen, and her her friends, so to speak, would be her friends, or so, the young maidens, uh, her handmaidens are, are the halachos. Oberabos, Vishira Shirim, Valamos, and Mispar, in Kate Slitos Aftos. And in Medrash Rabban, Shira Shirim, the young maidens without number, that refers to how there's no end to the Tosefta. Hainu Mimros Amoraim. That is to say, the statements of the Amoraim, Dlomo Svinan Minayhu Tiyuf the Klal. You cannot use them as a refutation on the Mishnah at all. Ukamayim Razal, Gavra Agavra Karami is like the statement, you have one argument against another guy. One one guy against another guy. They're they're called young maidens. It's the language of of closed up, original adla kabilas dachar ekri chulu that they're called that before they receive the masculine. <laughs> Avoda and Sprat in the in the Maimorim and Sprat and Matos in any hall that eyes look all eyes look towards you that there's this concept of being closed up in this in the in the virginal in service of the soul Kishalibo Atum Kibisula when your heart is closed like a virgin Shnon is pile the Avavira me eyes bone on a school that you're not Awakened in love and fear from the contemplation. Bidiburamas klosh korani venava hasheni perikalav perush. Shibikinas besulu sakhareare osea hinan shamos kodim yiri dason vislab shusun beguf. And the Maimer Shkorani it explains that the virgins that are after her, her friends, those are the souls. Before their descent and enclosement in a body, as nikrabusulos, that before they come down into a body, they're called virginal shalokiblu adayna Torah, that they did not yet receive the Torah shenikrabiyom chasu noso. That's called in the day of his wedding. Bayim berabus rish parshas pekudei parshach of beis binyan besulos acharei areosea. Look what it says in midrash raba. Pekudei concerning the concept of. Virgins after her, her friends, Basulo, Selu, Israel. The virgins are Israel. Yoseash, Henry of Shalakadosh Baruch, who are friends. That they are the, the friends of the Holy One, Basabihi. Achkemo, can you venin yin zuba, lacho, shinikregam, can alamo subasulos. So that's in a voda. That were the friends of the Holy One, Basabihi. According to Medrash Rabbah Pikudei, 
Ach, Kemo, can you win in Zubahalachos? But so too, you can understand the concept of this as Halachos, Shinikragam, Kinalamos, Ubisulos, that are also called young maidens and virgins, Ukamai Mirazal, Perakei, the Eruvin Gabi, Debi Avua, Allah's Benaira Harunis. It says that. Rabbi Avua rejoiced in a, a young maiden from Aaron. The Kayal Masech, the Masedur Kodshim, that that refers to a Masech of Gemara from the order of Kodshim, of the Korbanos, that's why he called her Aharonis. I know she nekra Lamos, that she's called young maidens. And the Rebbe says on the bottom, the Rebbe says here that there needs to be a parenthesis at the end of the parenthesis uh, for the, the end of the Haga from the Semach Tzedek. Because you do not have the um, dwelling of Chachmi Lav Atzilos inside it. Because the Gemara is in the world of Bria. It's called creating darkness. That he creates darkness. Shein Meir Sham Chach Meila Begiloi. That the supernal wisdom does not shine there in a revealed state like it does in Atzilos. So that's the concept of the Lamos. It's the Olam Habria. That you don't have the Giloi like in Atzilos. Rather, it's Behelem. Rak Shein Mechinas Kli Mucha Narshos Chach Meila. But rather, that they're fitting vessels that are ready for it to, to have Chochmila dwell in them. And the Rebbe says on the bottom, Klimuch and Kenu Beksav Yad L'Choreinu Hunachon Yoser Memashen Yomar B'Torah Or Klimuchan Klimachon It says in Torah Or Klimachon A vessel, a place of dwelling. But here in the Ksav Yad it says Klimuchan A, a ready vessel. L'Ashras Chachmai La, for the dwelling of Chachmai La, Kedichsiv, like it's written, Besulo Sacharayar Yosea, Muvos Lach, that the virgins after her friends are brought to you, Tuvalna Besmachos Vagil, you'll rejoice um, as you're brought, brought in uh, in happiness, Tavona Behechal Melech, and to be brought. To the palace of the king. The Rebbe says over So I guess the concept of being brought to the they're rejoicing mean in being brought to the palace of the king is how they're ready and willing to um, have the hashra of the king. How they're klimucha. It says in Zohar Pakude that since he cleaved to her uh, concerning Moshe. Then the, they um, gained blessings from the source of life and so forth. And this, this is the secret of that Moshe blessed them. That they attached themselves to Moshe. So like maybe it's the concept of Kalas Moshe. At any rate, it's it's uh, becoming fitting a place where the Shekhinah should dwell. 
הטעם כמו שכל זה במאורי אור אוס בייס, אם אין בין בייס בסולו סול אחרי עושה, הם יכולוס. So it explains in the מאורי אור that the versions of friends that refers to the palaces כי הם נקראוס שבע הניירוס הרוי יש לו טסלה because they are the palaces that is the היכולוס of the world of Bria are the seven maidens that are fitting to give to her to the Shekhinah, so to speak. They're the seven levels of elevation towards the Yichud. בזוהר פיקודי דף ס"ב שבהם ועל ידם יהיה אליאס בני ישראל that through them and with them you have the elevation of the, of the sons of Israel Like with them, you, know, you go to the palace of the king, like by Esther. Like it says, that the angels, uh, the animal angels, they, they lift up and so forth. So the malachim and the hechalos are like the, uh, it's the concept of the nairos. ואין עוד בפרשת משפט עם דף קי בייז אמן בייז מניין בסולוס אחריה ופרשת טיסה קי בי תסוף אמן בייז ואין במקדש מלך שמה בפרדס ערך זרס. מוקרס אז אין פרדס קונצרנינג דה מז'ר אב הנדס ברת. מיני על ידי גילוי חכמי לא במלכוס מקרא דביה Now through the revelation of supernal wisdom, the... Into Malchus, Mekor de Biyah, the source of Biyah, Zira Siya, Nim Shech Gamkin, Agiloi Behe Cholos. You have also the revelation into the Cholos, Zeu Inyan, De Ravach Yibirchan, Mekor de Chaye, and that's the concept of that they gain blessings from the source of all, from the source of life. K'mon shikos v'zohar, parshas miketz, tafesh dalid, humud beiz, pirashu b'shmu tishavea. Like it says in Zohar miketz, and explaining, and you should make, and you should take an oath in his name. B'chabe beiz b'chinos, shiva b'shmu, shu mem hei. Elias Zayin Yichalos de Bria, which is the elevation of the seven palaces of Bria. So the Rebbe says on the bottom, Vishmu Tishavei Alaha Yer Mi Ha'aros Atzimach Tzadik Letanya, so with Perek Aleph, that you should make, take an oath in his name, you should look in the notes of the Tzimach Tzadik and Tanya, in Perek Aleph, Shu Mem Hei, Kenira Kavana Malchus Yi Oz Hei. Seemingly Malchus, which is the letter Hey, Rebecha Aras Tzimach Tzavik Shem Tav Tzimach Gimel. So when it's talking about Malchus and the letter Hey and the going up of the seven Hechalos of Bria, the Malchus, the Leah Zayn Hechalos of Bria, the Malchus, the Kabel Ha'or, Meshiva Midos Tzilus, receive the light from the seven attributes of Tzilus. Look what it says about how Shlomo made the holiday, seven days and seven days. So I guess you have seven days below and seven days above. And about how Yaakov lived seven years and forty and a hundred years, how the, the, name, the number seven comes before the larger number. That's different than the other tzaddikim, and that's because the seven by Yaakov refers to the higher concept of seven. So uh, he's hinting to, I guess, the concept of heichalos below and heichalos above, or the seven below and seven above, or something. And the Rebbe says on the bottom, about this concept of seven. ואם בפירוש מקור עבדי חיי במה שקוז במקור אוכל פסוקי אימך מקור חיים look what it says about this concept of the source of life that Moshe blessed them with by the Mishkan 
on the on the concept of that with you is the source of life, which Daga we're talking about. About the concept of that the Holy One blessed be, He blesses them with seven, 70 blessings. And the Mingtash Melech and the Zohar. That's the end of the Simach Tzedek Sagat.